Okay. So uh, my name is Nate Acuff. Like I said, I work at IGO Digital. Been doing River and Rails for like a year and a half now. Um, still do more Ruby than Rails, but that's kind of how we operate over there. Um, I like to give a okay. hopefully very short talk about every month or so right. uh, that we've kind of informally titled Nate's Semi Precious Gem, okay. in which I talk about some Ruby gem that works, okay. let's say, 50% of the time and how spectacularly it fails the other 50% of the time. Um, this week I'm going to talk about the Lighthouse API gem, which is right there. Um, unfortunately, the gem actually works like 90% of the time, and there's a way around it when it doesn't work. If you're using HD Party anywhere else, the Lighthouse API is really well designed, and it's a it's just trivial to work with. So, um, and the fix for the bug that I found, which is pretty pretty bad bug, but the fix is already in their GitHub. It's just not out in any gem version yet. So. It's a good thing I was able to give this this week or else I might not have been able to complain at all. And and I love to complain. For example, why isn't this done yet? Uh, our doc and our <laughs> Oh, I got those turned off. All right, well, I already had it installed. I just really typed that for the example. Um, so to run it, I'm just going to, to, to contrast with, with your presentation, this is 100% live coding, which always goes really well for me. Uh, we'll get some errors here because, yeah, I haven't done that right. Okay. Um, so to get started, you just give it the token. This is a real actual token to our real actual lighthouse. Please don't abuse it while I'm sitting here. It's just rude, and I'll find you. Um, and I'll edit it out of the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we probably want to edit that out of the video. I'm just going to disable it as soon as we finish here. So um, there's... Uh, one of those. And so let's go get our project. Um, if you know your project ID, you can use that. There are other ways to search for them if you don't, but fortunately I have that one. Anyone using the internet, please stop. not to Steve Jobs you here, but, but bring it down a notch. I'm going to need some internet over here. <laughs> is just really, really bad. Uh, yeah. Do the authentic. Oh yeah, I have. There we go. Hey, maybe if you set up the internet. <laughs> I set it up five minutes ago. Their session handling is apparently worse than ours. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's say that. All right. Wow, that is really hard to read. So, um. It'd, it'd be great. Um, so now P is my project. I can get all the tickets. And by all the tickets, I mean 30 tickets at a time, uh, never more. There are some paging things you can pass to, to get more tickets, and, and it's not hard, but it's just something to be aware of. Yeah, everybody give me your phone. Um, Seriously, why did I do this? <laughs> All right, forget it. I'm just going to flip around and. Yeah, yeah there we go. Nice. That's what I here. need. I'm going to run your battery completely out. <laughs> I have an actual flashlight. Now we're good. Those batteries are expensive. So I'm going to get our support milestone, so we have something to actually look at. That's uh, you know pretty straightforward Ruby, and you can see there's the support milestone. It's got last updated and title and URL and all that, all the stuff that you expect a milestone to have. And it also, ooh, what happened there? That's not good. There we go. Uh, it also has 30 tickets, so we're down from yesterday's 51. Forget what I said before about 30 tickets. We're making progress. Um, I'm going to just go grab a couple of those. Um, let's say five or so. And yeah. 
there are some, oh hey, that's not what I wanted. Probably want next time. Yep. The, this is me live coding, so there'll be a few more of those. So there's uh, some actual tickets from our real support system. Um, it's every, Everything kind of works like you would expect. It really is a good API. Um, to make a new ticket, uh, it's kind of a pain. You have to actually pass it the project ID. I'm sure there are other ways to do it, but this is what all their examples say to do, and half the time if you're doing it through some other object, you have to pass it the project ID anyway for some reason. This is like the only real sharp edge, so I'm willing to forgive them. Um, wow, that's bad. Um, so, I'm just gonna grab the ID of our support milestone there, and let's call it, I don't know, NDRB2, so I can distinguish it from the one I made earlier. And uh, it should give me a ticket. And that should save it. Um, now if I do... Uh, that and... Like I said before, you have to actually pass it. The uh, project ID. If you get like, if you're using this API and you get like a weird error somewhere and you can't figure out, you probably need to pass the project ID somewhere. <laughs> but there's the ticket. Um, let's see, 1185. So if I go over here, you'll see there is 1185. So that worked. Um, I can do, here's where it'll kind of break down a little bit. Uh, so you've got the tags collection, which is like every other tags collection in the world. Um, if I want to add some tag to it, that looks great. And then it'll tell you it's saved. Uh, don't disappoint me here. If this worked, yeah, there you go. So there's the bug. Uh, it's fixed, but because they got rid of returning in the latest versions of Active Something or Other, um, <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, it's the commits there. It's fixed, but I had to find something broken, or it just wouldn't be a semi-precious gem. Um, and you can do. And we have this special ready for test state. Do that. And it should have deleted my tags. When I tried to get them, it errored and the ticket reverted to its original state. So if I come down here and look at it, if it loads, you should see, there you go, it's ready for test. It's in the support queue, no one's responsible, and it has no tags because that didn't work. Um, those are kind of the highlights. Uh, all the other features you would expect to be there, for the most part, they really are there. Who's, who's going um, anybody have any questions or want me to do something or want to see any of our awesome support tickets? Huh? Why does he carry a real flashlight? That's, he's Hi. Mike. Mike. Mike carries lots of interesting things in his pockets. So did you describe like why you were using the API or what you were kind of trying to do with it? So we have uh, some things in our administrative interface that clients want to be able to do without picking up the phone but they actually do require us to do real thinking work. So we have an interface where they can say, hey, I want to set up this kind of thing to run in my production environment. And instead of doing something programmatically, it just creates a ticket and puts it in our support queue. Okay. And the client gets a nice message that says, hey, we're going to take a look at this and take care of it. Um, so we, all we use it for right now is creating tickets. I don't think we view any. You don't use the do it. Yeah, I ended up using HD Party because there was another bug that I found that made me even angrier. But knowing what I know now and with version 2.0, um, that's what we would use it for. But you could really, I mean, you could re-implement their entire website on, top, on the back of this gem in a couple days. It really does give you an awful lot of power. Like we pull crap out of Lighthouse and I create a burn down chart for the, our support queue to show us stuff because the Lighthouse interface is pretty crappy. Yeah, I hate Lighthouse, but this API sounds awesome. The API is pretty good. <laughs> it, it, it's the Lighthouse that you thought you were getting. Yep. And there's, I believe there's a gem that gives you 
strictly command line access that's supposed to be good. The lighthouse? Yeah. Um, I think it's Lighthouse CLI. I didn't have time to look at it, but I mean, I really, all the day-to-day -day ticket stuff I do, I could do in IRB now with this gem. I have to imagine the CLI makes it even a little bit smoother because nobody wants to read the output of hash.inspect. Any other questions? Joel, are you? Thank you.